I've been sitting here long enough. Oh. It's time to get back to work. Trees look so nice. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this uh, garden we're going to move it over here. We're going to do away with this and grass this in. And then we're going to build this here. May have to keep this one for a little bit of time. Because uh, off camera, without thinking, It's November now, so time has gone by. And off camera, I kind of put some more water, seed, and fertilizer in. Not thinking I was going to be getting and moved. And now we're up to 11,045 on the tomatoes. So we're going to have to spawn them and figure out a way to transport them to the sub point. That's going to be interesting, to say the least. Let's go ahead and spot them out. Uh, let's get spot. Oh, oh, oh. They spawned out all right. Oh boy. Yeah, that's definitely going to be interesting when we only have the truck and Okay, uh, I've got to ask this, and I probably did not notice this before either. Where's our trailer? Did we sell that? You know what? I think we did. Now I think about it. I think we sold it so we could get this one. All right, well, so we are down to only having... About that. Give me a second. I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to give the shop a call and see if we can't get a trailer. Alright. Give me a minute. Okay. So we bought a trailer. We just got to go pick it up. And I hope this trailer works in our benefit. I really do. Did say it would be out back, and I think I've just seen it. Yeah, there it is. I told them I was on my way, so they said they'd go ahead and get it out. Hmm. 
It's not a new trailer, but it has been serviced. It's been gone ahead and gotten cleaned up and everything. They said they had just got done working on it when I called. So they were just about to pull it out and put a sign on it. And I saved them the hassle of doing so, and they saved me a uh, big time as well, so. There's a tree there, good sir. Alright, so... You know what? How are we going to load these? Am I going to tip them over onto the trailer? I'm going to turn around. Well, give me a moment to figure a few things out. And also need to go in the house and do something right quick. So be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I think, my pause, I think if we pull up right here, we might get lucky. Let me see. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Only two left, huh? Hmm. I was hoping maybe the truck had it. Guess not. So the universal, well the mod uh, for auto load, universal, turns that trailer into an auto load trailer. Works out for me. Quit dancing around, just getting the center, thank you. I don't want to wear the tomatoes, thank you. I just want to put them in the bed of the truck. Okay. And for those who don't know, yes, I'm running the uh, tube restraints. Wrong unit. That's the unit I'm after. I think we're just going to have to do a UE right here in the yard. Find out who's going to take these real quick. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look it up in the little booklet I've got. So, you know, one second. Okay, so Bay Grains is supposed to be paying pretty decent. A little bit more of a drive, but if they're going to take them, it'd be well worth it. There are a few hundred over the uh, competition at the moment, and we need every dime we can get. Whoa, hello. Yeah, I think we're a little heavy. That just scared the living daylights out of me.
All right, give me one second, folks. Okay. I had to take care of a phone call that just came in. Sorry about that. So the cell point's right there, and yes, it's the same place that we uh, got the mower from. Fingers crossed they actually take this. Well, I'm seeing stuff missing from the trailer, so they're taking it. And our money is going up. Parts 11,168. That's not bad. Hmm. It's giving us a pretty decent amount. Hmm. Thousand forty-seven, huh? That doesn't seem right. Okay, does anybody know how to get rid of that friggin' transmission shifting every five seconds thing? Please, if so, let me know how. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no collision on the roof. Okay, got the. Good to know. I don't know, they look kind of like apples almost, but they are tomatoes. Okay, so now we're up to 29,000, so we should have enough to get our uh, uh, open garden moved. Well, more than likely we'll just buy another one to put over there, and then when this one comes available to be moved, we'll move it over there next to that one. So we'll have uh, two. top heavy now so we can go ahead and go except for when we get to the turns we will slow down because we really don't want to have to deal with the aftermath And park here for the time being. Now we can get this moved. 
Well, you know what? There's still a lot of fertilizer and seed that got put in here. It'll definitely be worth keeping for the time being. Go back over here and put this back to uh, storing. We'll hold on to that until it's at least empty, and then we'll either, you know, get rid of it or move it over here next to the new one. Uh, but we will be putting the new one over here. So, I'm going to go call the contractor now. Alrighty, folks, so we've had a little bit of a hiccup here with Mike. Uh, one, I forgot to turn it on. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I'm doing another uh, voiceover right now. We did get our uh, garden placed, as you see here. <coughs> and now we're going in and deciding what crop to put in. And it's either going to be one or two. It's either going to be soybeans or it's going to be sunflower. And we toss this around for a minute. <laughs> for a good minute. And we ended up deciding... To check to see how much the crops were being sold for and sunflowers are being sold for over 2,000 where soybean is being sold for over 2,000 as well but there's a slight amount more for sunflower than there is for soybean which has made up our minds and we are now going to go ahead and select which crop we're going to go for we're going to go for you guessed it. I don't know why I'm going back down here. I think I was double checking something, but we ended up going with sunflowers. Of course, it took me forever to uh, really go through the whole, yeah, we're going to go with sunflowers thing. So. Of course, then we had to double check to make sure that we were on the right one to go ahead and have it store instead of selling. Oh, our crops are a little bit uh, withered there. So now we are going to have to go to the store. And we're going to go ahead and get in our truck here and get turned around, which is a little tight to say the least in this small yard. Here we go. And here we go. We're going to start the turn. And you got to use every inch just to get turned around. So this is going to be a tight little area. But it can be done. That's, that's the good thing. It can be done. Alright, so yeah, we, we're kind of going a little fast here. Need to put up speed on the signs. I keep wanting the speed. You know, I've heard of full throttle, but hey. Alright, so here we are. We're pulling up. Now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and stop here and then I'm gonna go in, talk to them, and uh, get the order placed. Alright, well I got the order placed and it should be around back now. So let's go ahead and get pulled on back there. If y'all are hearing the AC in the background, I am sorry about that. Unfortunately, my my software doesn't edit out that sound when I'm doing a voiceover. We'll go ahead and pull up here and we'll get everything loaded up. There we go. We got our seeds loaded. Let's back up and get our fertilizer here. And There we go. Now we're all set. Let's go ahead and get on back to the uh, farm. Or the garden, I should say, not farm. Only doing a garden. I've been enjoying this little series. I uh, hope everybody else has. And we are going a little fast. We really need to adjust that. Stop going so fast through the town. You really wouldn't be going that fast through a town. Turn around. 
down here, back in. Yeah, I had to come out of camera because unlike ATS, the mirrors in this one aren't quite adjusted where you can see very well out of them. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, fiddle around a little bit more. Gotta have it just right. Yes, I do have OCD, so I do have to actually have it just right. Alright, so... Now it takes the fertilizer, and then I realize, okay, it's not wanting to take the seed. So I'm thinking, with these bags, these pallets of seed that I've gotten, it doesn't like them. So, we do have to fill around a little bit. And yeah, you see I'm trying, taking off the straps and everything, and it's not working. It's just not doing it. So... Eventually we get it through our heads, hey, this isn't working. And decide to go ahead and do it the other way. And I think in just a minute here, that's when we're going to realize, okay, it's not working. Let's try something else. At least I hope, because, uh, you know, otherwise I just look like a fool trying to go back and forth, trying to, you know, more and more. Of course, hindsight's always 2020. You realize, you know, it doesn't work after the fact. But, uh, yeah, at least now we know. And I will look into a, probably getting just the big bags of seed, like we do with the fertilizer. They seem to work for the fertilizer, so I'm guessing it would work for seeds. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe that would be the case. All right, so we're sitting here looking like idiots because uh, it hasn't dawned on me yet. You know, oh, you know. We're going to have to do something different. Oh, here we go. We finally do. By putting it in the truck, it allows it to go ahead and be dumped into it. So, it's a bit more work, but it does work. As you see, I'm putting it in. The thing came up. So, if you're ever having this problem on any of your maps, here's how you fix it. You just dump it into a trailer or to whatever vehicle you have that has a capacity that can hold seeds and then you dump it from that. In the meantime though we're going to go ahead and get all this put in here and uh, I want to say we going to be too much longer I don't think. Why am I pulling forward? Oh yeah I'm too far away from the seed bags. Yeah, dumb dumb. They're not going to put in there. Come on, let's pull forward and get backed up and, you know, get in the right way. Thank you. You're just making me look like more and more of a, you know, dum dumb. <laughs> Which is myself, you know. Go figure. But anyway, yeah. We finally do get it backed up, parked. Which is uh, the best way to handle it, in my opinion. I should have done it from the get-go. As soon as I seen it wasn't taking it, I should have just did this. Instead of sitting there for as long as we did, making ourselves look more and more like an idiot. Trust me, I have over 400 hours just in this one alone. I would have had more by now, but I did have that time away from the game where I went and had to stay in a tent for a little bit. So yeah needless to say my hours are a little bit behind because of it you should see the hours I have on 19, 17, and 15 oh boy you would probably ask me if I had a life <laughs> I've only played for a few years Matter of fact, even 13. Okay, so we got that done. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to back all the way back out and just to get the water tanker because we still got to put water in there now. Come on. Come on. Go a thousand miles a minute going forward. But yeah, you go uh, two miles backwards. It's 
the Alright, so here we are, we're finally emptying out the tanker, and look at those beautiful sunflowers that just appeared. Uh, it's, it's like magic. I mean, you add water and they're instant grown. And then we're going to back all the way out to the water tanker, just to get water again. So... Yeah, what's y'all's opinion on this so far? What do y'all think of the map, and what do y'all think of the, uh, the the garden that we got going on? Uh, is it you know, what do y'all think needs improvement, if anything? You know, let me know down in the comment section. I do look forward to hearing from you, and uh, I'd love to hear what y'all have to say about it. If you like it, dislike it. If you want to see something else, you know, if you want to see a different piece of equipment. You know, as long as it fits in with what we're doing, you know, I, I don't mind doing it. Alright, and there goes to the next one. I think this time, for some reason, I ended up backing up, turning around, and going to get the water this way. I think it was because I wanted to see what the problems would be to actually do it this way. I think that's what I was saying. And, you know, you got to go all the way out of the, the yard, get turned around. So there's one problem. We don't have much space. That's, that is, you know, that's it. It's tight. You got to make do with what you got. You know, this is what a typical yard would be. And that's what I wanted it to be, a typical yard. I wanted to have that tight confinement to it. That, you know, you'd find in a normal person's house, you know, their front yard being you know, what it is and then their backyard being the size that it is. And you're using just that. You're not using acres and acres and acres of yard. Um, which is taken from Mr. P. Gaming's live house, you know, idea. And this is his actual, you know, this is his farmer's garden series that he's doing and with his permission I'm doing um, so yeah this is my spin my take on it and I did my yard slightly different what he did now if you don't know who he is please go look him up he is really good um, he's got a lot of good content out there so and that is Mr. P Gaming's Live House. He is on YouTube. And uh, yeah, he does excellent content. As a matter of fact, he's doing Farm Sim uh, series, Garden Farmer, obviously. Um, and then he's also doing a series on uh, uh, Power World, which uh, he's got me to play. Go figure. The person that said he'd never buy the game because uh, he wasn't into that type of game is now playing that game and enjoying it so if you all want to see me play that let me know uh, I think we're actually going to be working on a, a series together ourselves a little multiplayer series not positive yet it's still up in the air uh, let you know more when I know more meantime though let's get back to what we're doing here um, which is I think we're double checking our, our levels just making sure that we're yeah we are we're checking to see where the levels are on our other one versus this one just to see you know, what all we've done. And uh, we find out that our water and our fertilizer and seeds all within reason. So we're good. I'm going to call it there. And uh, we've parked up our water tank and our truck and trailer. So we're doing good here. Okay, two little dings from my PC saying, don't do that. Alright, so yeah, that's what we're doing is just going over all the levels. Making sure that we got everything where we need it to be. And now, we've got all of our uh, gardens in that we've got. Now, the one garden will move when it becomes available to be moved over to where the truck and trailer is. In the meantime, though, I think we've done a good job here. Uh, I'm liking the way it is so far. 
Uh, let me know what y'all think about it. Again, I am open to suggestions. Yeah, we're going over the fact that we're parked over there, which makes a good little area to park. Keeps them out of the way. Plus, this is the uh, loading area that I'm showing right where they spawn on both sides. There, it's grassed over, yes, but it's that's where they spawn the pallets. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, so. Yeah, I don't know. I must have been full of hot air because I'm still talking about the loading zones. But anyway, let's go ahead and go on back out front. And Oh, no, we had to go back out back. You know, we, we missed something here. I guess a different angle in the camera. <laughs> anyway. But it has been very enjoyable. I've had a lot of fun doing this little series so far. And if you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get, you get notified of any videos that get posted. Or live streams that it may do. In the meantime, though, y'all stay safe, take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!